Hey everybody, Slipbolt 7 not here with another how to play video. Uh, I don't know whether you check my uh, current YouTube status update thing, but I am going to be teaching you guys closure today by asking good old by good old asking Alexandria. In case you haven't realised, they're quite a popular UK band that formed in York, I believe, and they're more they're more known as being almost American than they are British but I'm going to teach you another one of their songs after this I think it is about the tenth song that I'm teaching you guys it has been requested and I apologize for the wait but you're going to be learning a very very good song today and I assure you it is a very very good song so um, let's get straight off with it so let's get started so this song is in drop C and drop C is drop C which is this so the low string is C that's in C this is G the one just above it that's G this is C again so the high one is another C that's what makes it drop C because these two are tuned together as you can see they're in perfect harmony right well they're probably not because this guitar is shit but yeah okay and then you've got um, C to C and you've got F which is the uh, the third highest then you've got C G no. then A which is the second to last and then you've got D which is the highest I'm gonna try and get my guitar more in shot because you don't need to see my face really well whatever okay so let's get started with the song so as you may as well know if you don't know it that well then go have a listen to it I assure you it's a great song and you I'm sure that you will love it if you like good old asking Alexandria I think they really did go back to their roots for this song okay so let's get started so the song obviously starts off with like a more like a techno-y kind of uh, riffage uh, riffage yeah well, it starts off kind of techno-y doesn't it okay and then it will uh, it will come in with one last time which obviously Danny Warsnop says and screams a lot better than I can so don't forget the tabs will be at the bottom of the screen so just follow along as best you can because my teaching skills are awful uh, so just follow along with the tabs too. I'll play it along as well, uh, and then you can sort of play your guitar and try and get the best sound and see if it works. And if if you get lost in some part, just come back. Just watch something. Or just watch from the beginning or something like that, just so you can learn. Or come back to a section if you sort of try and find where a section is, then you'll be able to find it. Okay. So obviously after the intro, it will come in with a f um, the first bit is almost like a breakdown of the intro. So. Um, if I just play it to you once, this is what it's going to sound like. So, okay, so let's get started learning that because that obviously repeats twice and then it goes into the next part. Okay, so obviously, as you may well know, if you know my videos very too well, I'm really shit at explaining breakdowns. So I'm going to try my best to read the tabs, and usually you'll be able to get it. So basically it starts off with a one chug down, so this is on the first two strings, so the C and the G, so there you go. That's basically what you got to do. And then you want to go down one, then leave a slight gap, and then do a down and up, so you hear that? So. I'll, try, I'll do it muted. So, like that. Okay, so down, down, up. So, and then you want to do the down, up twice. So, so, and then you want to do four strums. Okay, so it's down, down, up, then down, up again, and then four chugs down up then basically restart that so it's down down up down up then triplets so basically I'll play it slow down down up down up four down up then one then down up again then down up again and then triplets so a bit faster So if you see what I mean, if I'm oh sorry, I'm so shit at explaining breakdowns. Just look at the tabs, and you should be able to understand. Then it goes back to the down, then uh, down up again. So, so I'm just going to say it in ones and twos, okay? If it's two, it will genuinely be a down up, okay? If it's not, 
then I apologise and I'll try and pinpoint out the down the twos that I say. So basically, it goes one, two, two, four, two, one, two, two, three, three. The threes are triplets. So you want to do that twice, and on the second time, you want to do this little fill, fill, yeah, well, a little thing, which is this. So it'll be seven on the G string, then eight on the G string, then seven again on the G string. So, but you want to sort of do a hammer on pull off in a way. So if you see what I mean? So it'll be seven hammer on. So literally, it's just what you do is for hammer on is that you play the note and then with the finger that you need to play, whether it be if obviously it's here at seven, if you want to play an eight, you can play with your middle finger, uh, nine, play it with your ring finger, and ten, play it with your little finger. So you can do a hammer on here. Basically, what you're doing is you're playing the note and then you're carrying on that with the intensity of with the other string. So basically, you're using the vibration of the string to keep it going. Sorry for the buddy theory lesson or the yeah, practical lesson on guitar, but yeah, I thought you might want to know that. So basically, it's seven eight seven. Then you want to use your pink little finger and go to the ten on the lower string. So basically, you want to do seven eight seven, then ten on the lower, then eight on the lower, then ten on the high, on the one that you were doing the seven eight seven. So it basically it varies from the G string to the C, the low C, and then the G string again. So play it slow. Seven, eight, seven, ten, eight, ten. If it, it might take you some time if you're if you're learning and you're getting started with guitar and you're finding like obviously thank you for subscribing to my videos by the way. Uh, if you're fine, if you're enjoying these kind of videos and you're getting your picking up to speed with all that then maybe you'll find it hard to sort of have the strength in your little finger to do all this like quite easily, quite easily. see you have fucked up then but so 7 8 7 10 8 uh, 10 on the lower 8 on the lower then 10 on the high the high as in the yeah okay okay and uh, then what you want to do is you want to keep doing that riffage that breakdown pause and then come in with two triplets and if you listen to the song you'll know when to pause because it's quite an obvious pause and then basically you want to do that whole riff twice so I'll play the whole thing with you now uh, I'm gonna play it normal full speed uh, go back onto the tabs have a look at the tabs at the bottom of the screen and it, you should be able to like uh, sort of pinpoint out what you're actually uh, what, what you're what you're lacking so you're not doing a chug at the right point but okay I'll play it the whole thing so da 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 with just a fucking open to ring out that open and be proud that you've just done a sick breakdown on guitar yeah fucking sick breakdown okay and obviously I always try to replicate the the uh, does it the pitch the pitch shift but you don't have to do you know, just know when you ring it out and it sort of goes and then it sort of goes up doesn't it it goes up the street you can hear it sort of like it seems like it's almost speeding up yet the pitch is shifting just as you just before you go into the verse it's like and then it goes up so basically now we're going to go to the verse and the verse is pretty much very simple yet halfway through it it's harder if you're picking as like I pick quite downstroke if you do downstroke so basically what you're going to do is two uh, two uh, open palms uh, two open strings that you've palm muted so on the low C so so like that you get kind of it's not it's quite palm muty and low okay uh, so then you want to go to and you basically want to keep your finger on this eight you, you can take it off to give it a bit more clean but you can just leave it on so I think the tabs, like uh, when I'm writing, sometimes writing the tabs, it does. I can't find, can't transcribe it well. But basically, if you listen to the song, you will know 
when to play these eights because like the eights you know when they're there. It's like da 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 da. So literally, I I learned the song from literally finding the note. Okay, that's an eight. Okay, I hear when it attacks when when I hear the eight. So basically, it's two down strokes. So, so basically, it's two down strokes. So it's open open eight open eight. So open 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 eight open eight. So it's kind of an odd thing. I'll try, I'll try and write out on the tabs as best as I can. But it's uh, open. I'll try and slow it down. So you see what I mean? It's kind of weird. It's like twos and then ones and then two, then one, 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 two, one. Kind of an odd rhythm. But as I said, if you know the song, you'll know. Because you'll be able to hear it. It's, it's pretty much always there. And then basically, so after you've done the eights on the higher G, so you want to go use eights on the lowest. So basically, do you know when you're doing like palm mute here? Basically, what you're doing is you're palm muting and then you're going to be playing the note on the same string without palm muting. So, so basically, you see what I mean? So it's going to be going, then going to go down. And basically, what you're doing is there. So basically then that's two notes down, then eight on the sit on the low C, then open, then eight. So and basically that's so two two chugs oh fucking hell, I'm starting. Two opens, then an eight, then an open, then an eight, then an open. Yeah. So basically you're playing two eights on the low, so and basically for that bit, you're going to be just doing tens on the G, with alternating between the opens as you've been doing for that whole verse. So then you're going to do three tens, and then you're going to do a uh, either you can do a pull off hammer on, or you can do a slide like I do. And the slide is basically where you just slide the same finger two down over notes. So you can call it a hammer, or I just call it a slide because it is a slide. something like that so if I play it slow to you guys the verse read the tabs listen to it play it on your guitar you'll find it it's really simple so so yeah it's quite you see what I mean it's quite simple as in the, the way you basically you're not really moving past these things here your hands are going to be constantly staying on here. So once that's done, you're going to be playing that about six, five, six times, I believe. Yeah, about six times that verse, and then you're going to be going to the uh, chorus. Well, like the fit before the chorus, then we're going to go to the chorus. I don't really know the twiddly bit, so it's like you know, over the chorus bit, you can hear it. I, I, I can't find it. I, I'm, I've been trying quite a while to find it. If you know it, and you're a pro guitar, you're a better guitarist than I am, which a lot of people are. Because yeah, whatever. Uh, you, it's quite easy to find, but I, I'm still sort of almost learning by ear. Uh, literally, I am a learner at learning by ear. So, so it's like fucking like, I don't know, something like that. I don't know. But basically, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you what the, what, uh, what the, what is actually being played. Okay, so now we're gonna go to chorus. So basically, it's gonna be you're gonna be using the five and seven. Do you know the five and seven with the block string in the middle? After it's on, you love to use it. So yeah, you wanna do a five on the G and then a seven on the F. So and then it will do a drum fill and then it goes into the chorus. So da -na -na -na. they say it all breaks down her keeping. Yeah. So basically, what it's gonna be is if I play it to you now, then I'll teach you it. Okay, so. They say it yeah, all breaks down to keeping your feet on the ground. They might attention me, keeping my head in the car. Say that I can't last the day in the real world. Say you wouldn't survive. Oh, fuck it. I fucked up. Basically, <laughs> okay, I'll just teach you it now because, yeah, whatever, fuck it. So basically, it's five and seven, so. Basically, that's four. So you're doing four strums. Up, uh, down, up, down, up. Wait, down, up, down, up. See, and then it'll go into the chorus. So five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven. 
Trapapum. Sick gun fill. Okay, and then uh, you want to keep on the five. You want to keep on the five seven for another time because basically what that's doing is you're postponing. The, you're doing a chorus, but you're doing a chorus a bit before the chorus, so it's not actually the chorus; it's just the pre-chorus. So. Trapapum. Then you want to go down three five. And then you want to sort of do just just three five. You want to do sort of four four notes, and then you want to slow up to the seven nine. So. Go up to the 810. Then, then you'll go down 3 5 again, then 7 9. And then you want to do this, so you want to do 5 7, then you'll do it about 16 times. But I can last a day in the real world. I say you wouldn't survive one night. So basically, yeah, 5 7, then you'll go to 3 5. And then this is all constant strumming, you're constantly strumming for this. And then 7, 9, and then 8, 10, and then 3, 5, and then 7, 9, then open. And basically you're playing the, fir you're playing the first 5, 7 of that bit longer and the 8, 10 halfway through longer than you're playing the other notes. So you'll be playing a 5, 7 double the time that you're playing the other string. So. So that and now we're going to the breakdown after I'm sorry if this lesson's crap, I haven't done a lesson in ages and I'm yeah. Starting to lose my touch on things, I think I'm getting old. <laughs> okay, um so let's go. So now it's the notorious and shit I wouldn't trade it for the world. All that stuff. So basically what's going to be there is, if I play it to you, uh, if you like this style of teaching, like the, how I play it and then learn it, just put it in the comment, because then I know what to do for my next one, and if you want me to shut up talking, then put it in the comment. Okay. <laughs> I need to know to be able to make my lessons better. So let's um, keep going. I'll just check I'm still in shot. I should really keep checking it. Yeah, I'm still in shot. Okay. Okay, so, uh, wouldn't survive one night in my. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is this. Basically, you're gonna be learning that. Okay, so what that is, is up down, so two, then you'll do four, then two again, then two again, then four, then two, up, then two. Then two again, then four, then two. So basically, that. Okay, so uh, so that's up down. It's quite fast. Have you noticed it's different tempo breakdown? So. Like that. Okay. So you, if you know the song, you'll know the rhythm very well. I mean, it's it's quite an easy rhythm. Once you know the song, so listen to the song a few times, and then you'll get that kind of didn't, and you'll sort of know because you'll sort of hear the kick drum also, and you'll hear the guitars obviously, and you'll hear the rhythm of it. Okay, and now what you want to do after that bit, the so what that is is basically you're going to be doing a one on the highest string, so on the on the D, so then you want to pull it off to an open. So basically what I just ping it really almost. So you want to do one open and then you want to skip a string and you want to go to the F, F string and then you want to play a two there and then you want to do a three on the higher C then you want to go back up to the F and do another two and then do an open string on the higher string so skip a string again. So basically what we're doing is this. So one, open, two, three, two, open. You don't have to, you can hold on to the chord actually. It's all that like you can hold on to this two, three. Basically, yeah, one, open, skip a string, two, three, two, skip a string, open. 
And then basically what you want to do is you want to repeat that riff, that... And then you'll sort of hear halfway through that, you want to do a one and open. See what I mean? That kind of one... Sorry, I'm a bit high. But that kind of, that one on the low C and then an open on the G. So, and then you want to do that same riff again, which is the one open, two, three, two, open. And basically you want to repeat that about five times, five, six times. And then the last time of doing it, and then you want to do six drums of that discordant one open. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you'll sort of end on the open note, and you'll know it, that's when it go fades out into that violin-y, trancey almost bit. And then after that trancey bit, I'm sorry if I don't explain this anymore, but yeah, keep watching please, <laughs> and uh, keep subscribing, commenting, liking, favorite, everything, everything you can do on YouTube. Even disliking, I don't care, you can dislike this video. Please don't dislike this video. <laughs> okay, so after that trancey bit, what you're going to be doing is really simple. This is this is this calls to out all the simpletons out there. So basically, what you want to do is open open power chord. So the three first strings, three lower strings, just ring them out open. So what you want to do is open. Everything we need to make this seem what it should have been. Remember platinum album sold out stadiums. Leave it to me. I saw the truth, not to be rude, but we're all irrelevant. This music's dead with a bullet in its head. Let's wake it up. And then we'll go into the different bit. So I got a bit too into that. So basically, what that is is open power chord. And then you're going to do a 10 power chord. So ten of the hold down 10 on the first three strings. On the, on the lower string. And then 8. Man, the plan, the man. Then 8 again. And then you'll do that twice, so... I'm everything we need to make this seem what it should have been Remember platinum album, sold out stadiums, leave it to me I saw the truth not to be rude, but we're all irrelevant This music's dead, with a bullet in its head, let's wake it up And then, obviously... I, on that last eight thing, I do strum it loads because I find that it needs to, although it doesn't, it just rings out. And basically what you want to do now is, is that you want to do the five seven where you skip the string, uh, there obviously. The and basically it's almost like a reggae beat, because you're doing, you're not, you're playing the upstroke, you're not playing the down. So basically what you're doing is, so... So you're playing the first two notes, and then you're doing a pluck down, but then you're playing the up. So, so basically, if you see what I mean, so you're doing two strums, two normal strums, and then you're playing the off. You're playing the up stroke. So, like when you're doing normal strums. You're down up, down up, down up, down up if you're just doing down strokes. Doesn't sound right. So it's two drums and then go down, but don't play anything. Play when you're strumming up. And then come down again to mute it. And just go up. You get that. And basically, play that, emphasize the fact that you're not playing the down stroke. So basically what it is, you're playing is, is 5-7, then go up to 7 on, then 8-10, then 7-9, and you're just strumming that out, that's not, that's not the upstroke, you're just doing normal strums with the 7-9. And basically if you know, in that bit of the song is where they've got the, everyone going, whoa, so... This music's dead with a bullet in his head. Let's wake it up. Whoa.
And so they, and then you basically want to hang out in the open. And basically, I'm going to try and teach this last bit of the song as the best of my ability because it's kind of a weird off key thing, not off key, off beat thing. So. Okay, be prepared, this bit might be wrong, but at least it will give you some way of playing it. So, um, so what you're going to be doing is, it's going to be open, open strings obviously, you're not going to be playing any other notes, apart from halfway through when you're going to go discordant. So basically what it is, is you're doing is, uh, how's it go? Okay, so basically what it is you're doing is you're basically doing four palm mutes and then you're playing an open and then you're palm muting and basically like to the stage if you know how to play to the stage that Do you know what, in the video if you check out my to the stage video like the how to play I done it's where you're playing an open note and then you're palm muting straight after. So I'm playing two notes there. But except you only hear one of them. So basically what you're doing here is... So basically you're doing a triplet and then you're doing an open palm mute open. Basically, you're doing triplets, and then you're sort of. If you listen to the song, you'll know. But you're doing a triplet or a few fast notes, and then you're doing a palm you open, palm you open in a regular times. And then what you want to do at near the end is that you want to just go to the one open, and then you want to fucking do like fasting. Then you want to bring it out. Look at the tabs because that was explained awfully. I'm so sorry about that. Um, but yeah then basically that is the end of the song so basically it's like insane I'm so insane leave it to me from here and then you basically want to ring it out and that's the end of the song and I apologise for my really bad screaming I was trying to imitate a Danny Warsnop epic scream and it didn't work so there we are Da, 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 da. But you can see how crap I am at the time. I can't actually play that. Anyway, guys, that's it for my video. Bitches get stitches. Bitches, yeah, bitches do get stitches. Anyway, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope uh, I managed to teach you at least something. If I didn't, I apologise. Watch the video again if you want, um, and uh, look at bits of sections of the song if I didn't manage to teach it. Well, maybe. I don't know look at the tabs while I'm talking or something like that, just so you can sort of sort of read it while I'm playing because I do play some bits, so you can just read along before you actually put it to your guitar. All right then. Anyway, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos, um, especially this one. Thanks for watching all my videos. It really does mean a lot. Uh, I may post a video before Christmas, but if not, I wish you all a very very merry Christmas. Um, and obviously a happy I will be putting a video up before New Year and I will be um, probably I don't know, do a video pissed yeah, do a drunk video uh, <laughs> nah. um, but yeah I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if I don't speak to you guys before uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson keep commenting, subscribing and liking my videos all my videos it, they really help 
uh, the more subscribers I get the more happy I feel and the more confident I feel to make videos and right now you're doing the right thing so keep that going it, my subscriber community all my fans not fans not fucking fans but all the people who watch my videos and all the people who subscribe really it really does mean a lot to me so thank you ever so much for that uh, Merry Christmas guys have a happy new year and I shall see you guys soon make sure you put in the comments what video you want me to do next uh, give me a comment on my new haircut and how gay it looks because yeah everyone says it looks gay <laughs> apart from my girlfriend but she wouldn't say it was horrible because I was sharp puncher alright anyway guys take care I shall see you soon hope you enjoyed this video comment rate subscribe see you later guys bye bye